I'm about to bust. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Oh, good lord! I have a weird memory with 2017 Seconds Anna and the Apocalypse. You see, I never actually watched it until 2021. But whenever I was browsing through a streaming service, it would appear. So after it being out for about four years at that point, I said, why the hell not? And finally watched it. And I'll have to say, I was genuinely surprised that this film is not only good, but it's actually quite entertaining. Anna and the Apocalypse finds itself in my list of my favorite go-to musicals. And that's a very short list, trust me. A few aspects of the film I liked would be the performances and the music. The performances in the film were very good. What makes the performances stand out to me is the choice to use unknown actors for the roles. Not only do they turn in great performances, but it makes it easier to relate to the characters when they're not being played by big name actors. They feel down to earth and fun. Everyone has fun and pulls in a great performance. The one standout for me would have to be Ella Hunt as Anna. She has a lot of fun with her role and I'm happy her career took off after this. Watch Dickinson and be amazed by her performance as Sir Gilbert. And second and lastly, the music in the film was good. Some of the songs in the film are toe-tappingly good. Two songs I would recommend giving a listen to would be Break Away and What a Time to Be Alive sung by the entire cast. Now, not all of the musical numbers are perfect. There are a few duds, but for the most part they're well made and choreographed. The only negative aspect I'll say about the film is that it has a few cliches when it comes to the zombie genre. You got the sad deaths, the all is lost moments, the everything turns out falling, action. Anything you've seen in a zombie film, you will see it in Thai film. That doesn't make the film bad or anything, just can become a bit predictable. Overall, Anna and the Apocalypse is a unique holiday film to put in your watch list. It's one of the few films that can actually surprise you with how good it is. Final grade, eh? This is fun! <laughs> oh.